what is a band pass filter audios are consist of different bands suppose when you're recording your audio there would be some low frequency high frequency and in the middle there will be some slip frequency so when you are using a band pass filter you are apparently allowing a single band to pass through that filter right so today we are going to learn how you can use band pass filter in adobe premiere pro i have prepared a audio clip if you want to download it you can download the audio clip from the link in the description so here is the audio clip if i just play it back without applying the effect you will hear the sound is pretty normal right so if i play it back hey guys what is up this is jameson welcome to another adobe the audio is okay now we are going to apply bandpass filter i have to go to effects panel if you don't see always you can go to effects panel to enable it and we'll be need to control effects control panel to control that effect so you have to select that one too so this is our effects control panel and this is our effects panel so you have to go to audio effects and then filter and eq the first one under this folder is bandpass filter just click and drag this filter on top of your audio clip or your video clip right then just release it you'll see that effect have been applied here on this effects control panel if you want to change any properties you have to change it from here now if i play it back hey guys what is up this is jameson welcome to an you can hear the audio sounding pretty thin why because we have allowed a single band which is 1495 hertz and the q that is the width of that band is 2.6 q right so that is why the audio is sounding pretty thin so what does this effect actually doing suppose you want to allow your lower frequency to pass through this uh, effect right so you have to just decrease the cutoff frequency maybe uh, 200 hertz so that will be the lower frequency of our voice and then you have to select a q that is the width of that band so if i just make it maybe one 0.1 then you'll see the whole audio is passing through that band because the range of that band is so big it is passing all the audio frequency right if i play it back hey guys what is up this is jim it is sounding normal but now if i increase the q value that will decrease the width of that band right so if i increase it to maybe two or three now if i play it back and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today we're going to learn you can hear only the lower frequency which is around 200 hertz is passing through that band if you increase it a lot it will precise that frequency range which is 200 hertz if i just play it back very minimal sound is passing through that band if i just decrease that it will widen that band right so if i just decrease it to maybe 1.5 that is audible so what is the practical use of this bandpass filter suppose you have edited a video here is a video sample now i want to use a background music here on this clip so if i go to here on this folder and then i can just select a random audio clip maybe this one and then if i click it here i can bring it back right now if i play it back you will see the music volume is too loud that i cannot hear the actual voiceover right make sure that yeah. so in that kind of scenario you can just allow a certain band to pass through suppose if you allow the lower frequency to pass through it will just introduce the beat and the bass sound of that music right so let's go here effects control panel and then band pass filter so this is the band pass filter now if i just make it maybe 500 and then if i change the q value while i play it back make sure that you have installed adobe after effects i have already installed after effects now this is the clip we are just going to click and drag it. or maybe 100 hertz now if i play it back make sure that you have installed adobe after effects i have you can see the music is not interrupting with my voiceover so that will be a practical use when you are using bandpass filter or if you want to make your voiceover a little bit thinner maybe you want to make your voiceover sound like a telephonic sound then you can use also bandpass filter suppose click here and then if you go here and then between the subject you can change brand. that value so how we can separate it we have to use adobe after effects so 
So it is sounding like the voice is coming from a telephone. That will be also another practical use of bandpass filter. I hope you have got the idea how you can use bandpass filter in Adobe Premiere Pro and I believe you will use that filter on your future project. So that is all for today. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video and learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. If you know this channel, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.